Hey everybody, my fellow tailgaters out there. My name is Diane Mina. I'm married to Chef Michael Mina. Proud and so honored to be. And season's over, right? But we have the Super Bowl coming. So I thought instead of having the tailgate at the Levi Stadium, how about bringing it to your home? So I'm going to walk you through some steps how to do this very simple, cool, fun way to share with your friends on Super Bowl Sunday, having them engaged and having a good time. Okay, so now I'm going to walk through the stations with you. We have station one, prep the cup. You have your ice, your cups, your vodka, and your rim salt with your lemon. Station two, your flavoring station, very fun. This is where you find your spices and your depth. I've also included some juices from the fruit garnishes, which I'll show you. Your tomato juice. And then we move down to the third station, which is our top it off, the funnest station. And you'll have all your garnishes, your citrus, and your final seasonings. Now I'm going to show you how it gets done. Okay, so we have the bar set up, right? Easy for people to help themselves. However, I guess there's a little reputation of people wanting me to do it for them. And I'm honored to make a Bloody Mary for everybody, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly show you what I do when people especially request me. It's kind of exciting. Okay, so same process. The only thing I just don't do is I don't rim my glass with any of the sauce. I like to put it inside. So I have my large cubes, I have my kettle one with my large pour, and then I'm going to add my cup of doo juice. So what I've done down here on the lower bar, and you could do this at your house if you'd like, however your, your home is set up, but I pretty much did a duplicate of what's up here for the guests with some added funness because I guess the request of having Diane's Bloody Marys makes it fun, so it's kind of unique. So I use the Papadou juice, but then I also use a different type of um, juice from a, a marinade that I found, again, Mazetta brand, and it's an Italian mix. I like to keep this behind the bar. I like to give the guests something that's more that they recognize. So I had some fun, so I took the juice from the mix there. And then I'm going to move to my citrus, do my lemon and lime, like I say. I do both. I think it's essential to do both. And I'm going to go out to my Tabasco. I have to do six or seven dashes of that. My Lee and Perrins. I'm going to try to make my own Lee and Perrins one day, my own Worcestershire sauce. i going to ask my chefy. My chef to load me up. And then I'm going to give this a little stir. Actually, you know what I forgot? I'm going to put one more step I forgot to share with you. So this is fresh grated horseradish. Just tops it up a little bit, steps it up and says, okay, this is real handcraft. You have your prepared horseradish. It's lovely. It's fine. But since I want a Bloody Mary connoisseur, I want to change it up. So fresh grated horseradish, it actually gives it a completely different flavor. It's beautiful in the drink. It's really easy. It looks like this at the markets, farmer's markets, Safeways, you can find it, peel it out, grate it, it's so fun, you'll look like a rock star. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this, just to give it a, get it all in there, okay? And then I'm going to grab my tomato juice, and pour that in there. I just love when the color it all comes together. That's my happy time. <laughs> That's when the smile comes on my face. Again, going to give it another little stir. And then I'm going to put my tahini. I'm pretty generous with that tahini. I just love it. And I'm going to do my black pepper. And then I actually will choose my cucumber. And it's also fun too because it's a little stir stick. And remember, when you're slicing your garnishes, make it tall enough. You should measure your glass to make sure that hopefully, if you do this right, <laughs> if I do this right, it should, it should work. We'll see. So I have my cucumber. Now I'm going to take my papadus that I love so much. And I did add a different garnish because, you know, Diane's making it. So I have a little radish here that I love. I saw them. They looked really sweet. A little tough. I'm get it in there. Make it happen little niblet and then I think I'm gonna do one of the cauliflowers that I like gives it again just another little veggie and that might not fit all on there 
So you really got to squeeze it together. Ultimately, the goal is to spear this into whatever long garnish you have, and it will stay in there. Whew! I mean, if people can put a hamburger in, <laughs> you should think I could get this together, right? So I got that all set, and I am going to use the jerky because I just love it. Take pride in your work. Give me a little straw. And there you go. Diane's Bloody Marys. Okay, so my last tip for the day is I wanted to talk about some tomato juices. I know that's one of the mysteries here. So I have three in front of me. There's a lot of them out there, but I chose these three for a reason. So RW Newton, this is a well-known brand. They have they make an organic tomato juice. It's lovely. It's a little bit on the thicker side. So I would probably use the filtered water on this one. If you want to feel good about yourself, go organic. There you go. Okay, it's a lovely blend. Oh, and then we get to my Clamato. My Clamato, gotta love my Clamato. I have a sweet spot for Clamato. Grew up on this stuff, it is just fine. It's on the thinner side. You know, some of the people really don't know, Clamato actually has clam juice in this. So if you have somebody that might have a shellfish allergy that you know of or a seafood allergy, I would probably avoid this one, but it is lovely, it's fine. Again, on the thinner side. Now, for the men in your life who like things simple, not too complicated, I've chosen Lefty Old Duels. Now, I've had a lot of Bloody Mary mixes, okay, a lot of years, a lot of Bloody Marys, and I love them. So, and I feel pretty confident that anybody's going to really like this one. I chose Lefty Old Duels, A, because it's a restaurant in San Francisco, it's fabulous, fun, classic, but restaurants usually have the culinary background to make an, a really good balanced mix. If I had to choose a mix off the shelf, aside from my own, I would choose Lefty Old Doodles. Um, there are, again, there's lots of other mixes out there that are just lovely, but I'm keeping it simple. It's recognizable. You can find it everywhere, and it's just absolutely perfect. So hopefully these tips were helpful to you. I look forward to hearing some wonderful comments. We are on Super Bowl weekend, so we're rooting for the Patriots. You go, Patriots. And again, thank you for inviting me into your home.